Today we're going bananas. No, we're not going crazy. Although where that expression actually comes from is, is somewhat of a mystery. Uh, some suggest that it dates back to the 1960s and uh, hippies who used to take banana peels and put them in a pipe and smoke it. Why? Because uh, scientific analysis had shown that the peel of the banana contains some interesting compounds like dopamine and, and serotonin and uh, they can kind of make you feel happy. Well, uh, I wouldn't put too much weight on that because even though there may be dopamine in there, it doesn't really cross the blood-brain barrier. Uh, so we're not gonna go crazy about bananas, but we will talk about them because they are interesting. They are the most popular fruit in North America, more popular than apples. Well, actually we shouldn't say fruit because the banana, believe it or not, is actually a berry. And uh, we're familiar with the color of bananas, and uh, some are yellow, that's the way we like them, and some are green. Well, you know, if uh, bananas are picked when they're yellow, they virtually never make it to the marketplace. They will go ripe, overripe, and, and spoil. So the bananas are picked green and are shipped refrigerated. Now, at their final destination, they are ripened. How? By exposing to a gas called ethylene. Now, that's the natural gas that bananas produce themselves when they ripen. But when they put in a, in a container and they are gassed with ethylene, they will ripen more, more quickly. Well, what does ripening actually do? It changes some of the starch that is present in the banana, and uh, banana is almost all carbohydrate, mostly starch. It changes it to sugar. And uh, the sugars are sucrose and fructose, and there's a lot of sugar in a banana. A fully ripe banana, believe it or not, contains more sugar than a chocolate bar. But it's not so bad because we get a lot of fiber with it. We get minerals and, and vitamins. And uh, we don't look at sugar that is in food the same way as added sugar. Now, there's another very interesting difference between the yellow and the green bananas. And that is something we refer to as resistant starch. Now, starch is a large molecule made up of glucose units joined together, but there are two kinds of starch. There's amylose made of chain, uh, straight chain glucose molecules and amylopectin, which are branched. And they have a different uh, effect on our biochemistry. Uh, it turns out that uh, some starch is more resistant to digestion. And uh, this is the kind of starch that, that uh, is more beneficial for us. This is the, uh, the starch that doesn't get broken down in the stomach and in the small intestine and be absorbed as glucose into the bloodstream. It goes through to the colon. And there actually it has some benefits because bacteria in the colon like this resistant starch and they generate from it some so-called so short chain fatty acids, which are very good for, for the colon. And it also means that there are fewer calories involved in this process because less of the glucose is absorbed. So green bananas are better for us in that sense. They contain more resistant starch, therefore there will be less of a glucose spike in, in the bloodstream, and it's also better for our colon. And if you have any uh, problems with diarrhea, well, green bananas are better for that as well. There's only one problem with the green banana, it's somewhat harder to peel. And you know what? It isn't uh, quite as tasty as the yellow banana because it contains less sugar, but it contains more resistant starch, which is better for our colon. So, mm, not bad. You know, maybe monkeys are so happy because they eat a lot of bananas and Maybe there's something to the dopamine story. Who knows?